Sentences delivered by court order are nothing more than cowardly murders. Barbaric crimes committed legally in the name of the entire nation. These cruel laws are the doing of the tyrants who rule us. They are the chains they have always used to oppress the human race. And that, mes amis, is why the death penalty must be abolished. Well said.
most faithful servant. Monsieur, listen to me. But I can no longer do what you ask of me. Listen to me, Bosson. Kill, kill, and kill again. What do you mean? Of what crimes do you accuse yourself? The heads must roll. They must roll straight into the pit. C'est la Sophie. Who are you, monsieur? Uh, who am I? Oh, I am Charles Henri Sanson, executor of court rulings. The executioner of Paris. The executioner? Oh, no. Not anymore. That death factory. We had to lead the horde of the tortured victims there and hand them over to killers who are far more efficient and skilled than us. When I tried to give up my position, the king and the count offered me a new role. Greffier at the Bastille. An easy job. And I fell into their trap. Oh. But now that I think about it, they must be the ones who sent you. They want my head. You're rambling. I am Aegis, their worst enemy. Come to rescue Monsieur de Vaucanson. Oh, His Majesty's honored guest. The man for whom our good king reserves his most ruthless treatment. No one deserves to be punished like that. Here, take this key. Monsieur de Vaucanson's cell is downstairs. And do not delay. He is dying, madame. He's dying. Monsieur Sanson. Madame, why haven't you gone to Monsieur de Vaucanson yet? What's keeping you? Monsieur Sanson. Madame, why haven't you gone to Monsieur de Vaucanson yet? What's keeping you? That was at a night, mon enfant. <coughs> oh, mon Dieu, they did it. They did it. They've turned my sweet daughter into a cold machine. It's all right. Stay calm. Well, Lydia, 
What has Cagliostro told you? Has he sent you to put me out of my misery? No. I'm going to get you out of here. Let me help you. There's no point. I'm burning with fever. I'm already short of breath. Death lurks around every corner in this prison. I, I couldn't escape it. I... I'm not long for this world. No, you can't. Outside, your automats are slaughtering men, women, and children. What you have done, monsieur, only you can undo. What I have done, the miracles I performed, the wonders I gave to this kingdom, it was nothing but vanity. I closed my eyes to it for so long. Mesmer, Cagliostro, souls snatched from their eternal rest like water from a well. I should have set fire to the workshop. I should have melted my creations. <laughs> it's not too late to stop the massacre. I don't have the strength. You must... <coughs> Speak, monsieur. Say something awful. You must stop them. The king and his loathsome henchman, Cagliostro, the master of the machines. He gives them their orders. He must be silenced at all costs. <coughs> Take my hand. Monsieur. Monsieur. Father. No, no, my poor enfant. I am not your father. No more than you are, Atenais. You're but the vessel that contains what is left of her broken soul. <laughs> Lydia, I don't want to die without hope. In the name of what is left of her in you, in the name of her love for you, I beg you to free her from the purgatory our enemies have confined her to. I will grant your wish, monsieur. Do you realize what that means? Are you ready to make that sacrifice? The ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> My fille. I shall never see her darling face again. Much petite. You must set her free. Bring her back into the light. The light. The... Monsieur. 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 My daughter, will you never listen? This machine belongs to the king, Vulisavi. There's nothing I can do about it. Did he also order you to torture her? The king wants me to make some improvements. And you obey him just like that? That's enough, Atenais. Let me work. And from now on, I forbid you from coming in here without my permission. You're no better than your master, Papa! Use this boat to reach the sun. A 
soon as I am on dry land, I shall return to the Cordelier convent. I am sure they are waiting for me with bated breath. Citoyen, I come bearing sad tidings. Monsieur de Vaucanson has passed away. I was present for his last breath in his cell at the Bastille. Juste ciel. Requiescat in pace. Mon Dieu, it is a cruel fate that has taken my dearest friend from me today. Eugène. Ce pauvre Eugène. I cannot suffer such a horrible injustice. Was he at least able to tell you something before he passed away? No. Nothing. How unfortunate. We are lost. Must we resign ourselves to this disastrous turn of events? No, General. Every part of me refuses to do so. Eugène de Vaucanson made me make a promise that I swore to keep. Now I have no other choice than to risk everything. What are you thinking, Aegis? I'm thinking of making my way to Versailles. Eh bien, you should know that I also plan to go there. You... don't even think about it. Ma foi. What have we got to lose? Our lives? At this point, you must admit that they're not worth much. I agree with the Marquis' resolution. We must take into account everything that Aegis has done to foil the King's plans. The time has come for us to put ourselves at her service. Not so fast, mon ami. Let's not rush into anything. You'd have to be mad to want to be part of the battle to come. Those who agree to take part in this strike will need to keep a low profile until Aegis has cleared the way. As for you, madame, I do not know what new arrangements have been made since my last visit to the Queen, but I found the area around the North Wing to be particularly empty. Here is where you should launch the attack. If fortune is in my favor, I shall be waiting for you at the Petit Trianon with something to help you make your way through the gardens. As for us, once the Automats have been defeated, we will enter the palace to seize the king and the count. Is that your plan, Monsieur le Marquis? It is, Monsieur. We are about to take the small step that separates audacity from madness. Are you ready to take it, Madame? Citoyen, I cannot escape my obligations. It is in my very nature to honor them. I kept the promise I made to the Queen to find Monsieur de Vaucanson. I am now bound by the oath I swore before my Creator. If I go to Versailles, it is in the hope of rescuing Atanias. I think also of all that remains to be done in Paris. And what's more, you demand my help to make you masters of the king. It is a heavy burden that we place on your shoulders. But once again, we must leave it up to you. Take your time, Aegis. A hasty decision could lead to disaster. We will be ready for action when the time comes. Pour la nation et pour le royaume! <laughs> 